since all users are not the same and some prefer different workflows, we will see an example of another method besides using render effects to have smooth editing with high resolution files. In this example, we will use proxy mode with Twixter, so you can dynamically change the video's speed with our tools without pre-rendering previews every time while editing. We start by creating a proxy for our clip. First, I select all the footage I want to create proxies for by right-clicking and select Proxy, Create Proxies. In this new window, I select the codec either H264 or QuickTime. I'm going to use QuickTime. Then in Presets, I'm going to choose ProRes Low Resolution Proxy. Before that, I can choose the destination for my proxies. I will leave them with the selected option so they can stay next to the original media in a new folder. You will want to make sure it's on your hard drive for optimum playback performance. Now I click OK and Adobe Media Encoder will open up and start rendering the video proxies immediately. This could take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on the length and size of your footage. Once all the exports are done, the proxy files will automatically link in Premiere Pro. I will go ahead and close the Media Encoder at this point. Now I need to link the proxy to the clip. I right click on my selected footage select Proxy, Attach Proxies. From here, I locate and attach the proxy file or files. Now I go to the program window and navigate to the playback controls. Play, pause, forward, etc. On the right hand side, there is a plus sign. I click the plus sign and find the toggle proxies button. Now I drag and drop the toggle proxy button into the playback controls bar. Now I can create a new sequence from Cliff, add Twixter, and I can adjust the speed percentage to a non-integer speed for this example. So when I click the toggle proxy button, I can switch between my proxy files and the original media. Once the proxies have been turned on, scrubbing through the timeline is smooth and lag-free. If I set playback to quarter res for display, even if you use Twixter with a non-integer speed percentage, it's still playing smooth. Just make sure to toggle back to the full res original footage before rendering. One last thing, there's also an alternative proxy method via the ingest settings in project settings for those who prefer to use a preset. If you set this up ahead and save it, you can quickly select the proxy preset you want and let the encoding run in the background. 